doomed. I'm gonna die tonight. What'd you say? Who's gonna die tonight? Killing Charity has proved more difficult than anticipated. But mark my words, I will prevail. I still don't get it. Then you're not paying attention. What could be more simple than the battle between good and evil? And of course, we know what side I'm on. All I know is that I want my soul back. For the last time! You will get it back once I have eliminated Charity. Now then, you must get Miguel away from her because I cannot touch her as long as she is protected by his pure and innocent love. But I've already tried. Try harder. Go to Charity's room. See if Miguel is still there. If so, we'll have to find some other way to unglue them from each other. My future, your future, depends on eliminating Charity immediately. So what did Sam say when you told him you were pregnant? Oh, well, I haven't told him yet. I'm waiting for the perfect time to tell him that he's going to be a daddy all over again. <laughs> okay. What are you two whispering about? Oh, I was just asking uh, how Charity's doing. I know the events of the last couple of days really shook her up. Actually, we haven't seen her yet this morning. We let her sleep in. Yeah, we even gave Miguel permission to spend a night in the room in case she had more nightmares. Well, if it was anybody but Miguel, I would question his motives, but I trust the kid. I agree with you. He's a very sweet boy. So you think Charity's going to be all right? Oh, absolutely. Rest, best thing for her right now. Oh, then it'll be all right if we go to Teresa and Ethan's engagement party tonight. Grace, I told you I didn't want to go. I feel the same way exactly. We got an invitation messengered over to us this morning. Well, look, I know that none of you guys are crazy about the cranes, but I think we should go for Pilar's sake. And I think this is going to be one of those events that people are talking about for years. Oh, God. I killed Martin Fitzgerald. I killed Louise's father. Juicy, isn't it? Sheridan's own words are going to cost her the love of her life. I still don't understand how you got your hands on that tape. You remember the night Eve had Sheridan under hypnosis? Hardly forget. Well, she recorded everything Sheridan said and kept the tape, silly woman. <laughs> when will people learn? In any case, I had the cassette stolen from her office. What do you think Luis will say when he hears it? Well, nothing fits for civilized people's ears, but it will no doubt be an Espanol's view upon it. Yes, it'll be like a bomb going off in the middle of his love affair with our Sheridan. Not to mention the extra added bonus of the fallout for Ethan and Teresa. Once the Lopez Fitzgeralds hear Sheridan say she killed Papa, there's no way any of Pilar's children are going to live happily ever after with anyone in our family. I must be crazy. What is that? Encouraging you to get dressed when I... I liked the way you looked in a towel. <laughs> well, I can always take my clothes off again. Oh. Don't tempt me. It's all I can do to stay strong while you recuperate. I told you, I feel fine. I can do anything. Let's not wait any longer. Make love to me. I've done a lot of daydreaming in my life, but this is more amazing than anything I've ever dreamed of. Your mother's sending over all these beautiful gowns for me to try on, and Mrs. Hotchkiss and Gwen bring us an engagement party. Teresa, it's exciting. Thanks. You and my wife to be, and I couldn't be happier. Really? Oh, wait. Tonight's. Almost like my coming out party. An introduction to Harmony's high society. What if I embarrass you? Teresa, 
You could never embarrass me. You sure you want me to run with this? Is the Pope Catholic? We've got a letter that Ivy Crane never sent to police chief Sam Bennett, telling him he's the father of her son, Ethan. Damn right I want to run with it. I want this headline to scream. Tonight there's going to be an explosion in the Crane Mansion, and I want it heard around the world. of the one who could sing so sweet and I would fly on the wings of a bird I knew you would take me high as breathe in, breathe out you keep me alive you are the fire burning inside of me you are my passion for life Going out to get some air, Whit. Yeah, well, that's what I went into while I was out. Yep. Whitney was right. About what? Well, she said that uh, you two were so into each other, y'all wouldn't even notice if the house was burning down. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty as charged. Hey, thanks for supporting me, man. Hey, man, all I did was tell you to open your eyes. I'm glad you two finally worked things out. So am I. Me too. Hey, Whit, I still haven't decided on a dress. We have just yeah, one. So, what's your story? Uh, what you mean? Well, I held up my end of the deal. I'm marrying the woman I love. So you told Whitney you love her yet? Hey, man, everybody don't work as fast as you, <laughs> right? I'm, uh, you know, working my way up to it. Well, you, if, if you say so. Besides, man, I got a few other things I've been thinking about lately. Uh, I heard. You got shot by the drug cartel and... You saved Dr. Russell's life. Yeah. You doing all right? Oh, yeah, I'm back on track, man. As a matter of fact, Dr. Russell's helped me do a search for my parents. She even had me take this uh, DNA test to see if there's any match between me and anybody else here in Harmony. Oh, great. Yeah, it would be really great, man, is if I find out my parents were local. Then I'd have even more reason to stay. And Whitney wouldn't be able to get rid of me then. So, uh, you coming to our engagement party tonight? Uh, you know, Whitney told me about it, but, I mean, I don't know. I... Hey, come on. Uh, Teresa and I wouldn't be where we are today without the two of you. All right. All right, man. I guess I gotta march my butt over to the, uh, Tug's rental place, so... It'll be worth it. You'll see. And everyone's looking forward to this. Yeah, well, everybody except, uh, your ex and her mom's, right? Uh, yeah. actually... Gwen and Rebecca put together the engagement party for us. Yeah, I, I guess once they heard that my father and grandfather accepted my decision, they got on board too. But I, I, I still don't understand why Eve didn't let the cat out of the proverbial bag in the first place. Why, why didn't she tell Sheridan that she, she confessed to killing Luis's father under hypnosis? You should know the answer to that, Julian, considering how intimate you used to be with Dr. Russell. She's a bleeding heart. She saw that Louise and Sheridan were falling in love and she couldn't bear the thought that what she knew would break them up. Romantics are the most vulnerable people of all. But does Eve know what you plan to do with the tape? Oh, yes. When I told her I was going to use it to split Sheridan and Louise asunder, why, she threatened to go to the police. How did you stop her? It was like taking candy from a baby. I merely asked her how her daughter Whitney would feel if she found out her very proper mother had given birth to a baby out of wedlock. Didn't. Of course, she accused me of heartlessness for daring to mention the baby boy she never got to know, but it worked like a charm. She caved, backed off immediately. It's a damn good thing that child died, Julian. The scandal would have rocked us to the core. My God, Father, that... 
baby was my son, too. You have no heart at all. <laughs> Why, thank you, Julian. I shall take that as a compliment. Come on, guys, help me out here. You're gonna go to the party tonight, aren't you? God, I just hope to God Alistair Crane isn't there. So, sweetheart, where'd that come from? You hardly know the man. Well, I just mean I'd rather not see him. He's always been so patronizing when he's been on the phone and we've been there. Just like his son Julian and his grandson Ethan. Look, I'm sorry, Grace, but I don't want any part of that. Ooh. You know, you got to admit, though, that this is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. I mean, it's pretty amazing that a crane is going to marry a Lopez Fitzgerald. Well, no more amazing than Luis getting mixed up with Sheridan. Oh, you know what Sam is saying is that he would rather stay home, put up his feet, order pizza, and watch basketball on TV. <laughs> That's not true. I would rather eat worms and stick needles under my fingernails all night than spend five minutes in the same room with Ethan Crane. Charity, you said someone was gonna die tonight. Who? I'm sorry, I don't know why I said that. I guess I was just having a really bad nightmare. Here and I'm not going anywhere. Hecuba is not gonna like this. Okay. <sighs> come on in. I actually, I was just gonna come and find you. Uh, Charity had a rough night, and I kind of have a feeling it has something to do with you. Look, someone's got to be strong. You're one dangerous woman, you know that? Me? What did I do? All right, cut the innocent act. You know, I lose every bit of willpower I have when I'm with you. So what's wrong with that? Well, well what's wrong with that is that your doctor said that you got to take it easy. And I, I think that her words were something along the lines of no strenuous activity for a while. I am obeying the doctor's orders. In fact, I have not signed up for one triathlon all week. Yeah, I don't think that's what she meant. Why are you making this so hard on me? Maybe because I like the way you want me. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it because it's killing me. <laughs> all right. Hey, where's your coat? want to go out? Well, I don't know about you, but I can use some fresh air. Look, it looks like it's going to snow again. Oh, I love the snow. I remember when I was a little girl, before they sent me off to Europe, I would wait and wait for the first snow to fall, and when it did, I would dream of building the best snowman. I bet you built some pretty fancy ones, too. No. <laughs> no. They never let me. They never let you? Why, why not? I think they somehow thought it was inappropriate for me being a crane. It was only something that other people's children did. It's unbelievable the family you have. Yeah, I know. Well, wait no longer, Miss Sheridan. We're going to start making up for some of those holes in your childhood, all right? Get your coat and gloves, because we got ourselves a snowman to make. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, how do you uh, propose to relay Sheridan's confession to Louise? Are you sending him a copy of the tape? Good grief, no. It would be a colossal waste for him to hear it in the privacy of his own home. I'm going to have it played tonight at the engagement party so that Louise and everyone he knows can hear the voice of the woman he loves confessing that she murdered his father. Oh, God. I killed Martin Fitzgerald. I killed Louise's father. 
Tell me, Julian. How do you think Luis will feel when he hears his true love's confession? Oh, no doubt. Blow their relationship to bits, but who knows for how long. From what I've heard, this love business can be quite powerful. Luis may come to forgive Sharon. Not if she's in jail, he won't. I also plan to send a copy of the tape to the district attorney's office. Sheridan should be behind bars in short order. Strong as their love may be, that should put a damper on things, don't you think? Isn't that a bit harsh, Father? Not to mention all the negative publicity for the family? There will be no publicity, negative or otherwise. Have you forgotten I control almost all the press in this country? The point is, better Sheridan behind bars than us, which is exactly what would happen if Luis ever dug into our past. I still don't get what Charity's bad night would have to do with me. You know, I'm not sure. It just, it seemed logical considering everything Charity said to you last night. I want to apologize to you, Kay, for accusing you of knowing why the birds attacked the house, why the walls were bleeding. I'm sorry I said all those crazy things. Just forget it. I already have. Your hand is ice cold. It's just a little chilly in here. That's all. Are you really okay? Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. It's just with all these crazy things happening in the house, I've been a little spooked. And I, I can't help feeling that evil is lurking close by. You don't feel that way now, though, do you? No, not with you here by my side. And everything's cool, because I'm not gonna leave your side. Get Miguel away from her, Kay. I want Charity alone. Do it! Come on, you know I hate the Cranes. And it'd be totally hypocritical of me to show up at the party and pretend I have any good feelings for any of them. Well, I guess you won't change your mind about going to the party, then. Good grace. I promise I'll make it up to you. I just have a new dress that I made I was going to wear. Look, I have a few days off coming in. What do you say in a, in a few weeks we head to Boston and paint the town red? Then you can wear that new dress of yours. I would wear it in a few weeks. <laughs> Why not? Well, I guess now's as good a time as any. secret and I'll give you a million dollars if you can guess what it is oh, I, I wonder if Miguel knows about the engagement party tonight I, I know that he stayed over at the Bennett's last night so I haven't seen him well let's go find him now Oh, give me a chance to know another one of my future brothers-in-law. Okay. okay. Uh, we'll see you outside. All right. So why do you keep looking over at me like that, Janet? Come with me and I'll tell you. What'd you say? Um, I said I'm trying to diet, um, but I'm kind of hungry, so... Miguel, did you want to go get something to eat? Yeah, I, I could go for something. Come on, Charity. Actually, why don't you let her get changed first? Okay. I'll wait for you out in the hall. Okay. Be there in a minute. All right. Bye. Why do I get this feeling that Kay's mixed up with something evil? 
Needles and pins. Trouble begins. Good girls alone. Hecuba wins. <laughs> you shouldn't have left her alone, Miguel. Not even for a minute. Thanks for being such a good sport about all this. You know, it couldn't have been easy listening to Charity accuse you of all that stuff last night. Well, it... You know, I just want you to know that I didn't take any of it seriously. I just wish she would stop looking at me like I had two heads or something. I know. Just give her a chance. You know, she'll relax. The sooner she realizes how much everyone cares about her, the sooner she'll stop having all these awful nightmares and premonitions. Okay. <laughs> hear what I just said? Um, yeah, sure. We all have to help take care of Charity. I agree, absolutely. Roses are red. Violence so nearby. Don't look now, or you'll ruin my goodbye. Stupid angel. Hey. You ready? Hi, yeah, but the weirdest thing just happened to me. That little angel statue that I have on my desk just flew off without my even touching it. And then the scissors that I keep on my table just flew into the air, hit the wall, and then hit the floor. Well, maybe you just thought your scissors were on the table. Maybe. I just remembered something. I'll see you guys downstairs. But you asked me to. I tried to get my away from charity. But Loser! You didn't give me enough time. I need more! I must kill charity tonight! Come on, will somebody tell me what's going on? And you don't have to give me the million dollars. Ah, okay, all right. <laughs> I can't wait a few weeks to wear my new dress because I won't fit into it by then. Well, why not? Are you going on a donut diet or something, <laughs> huh? No. I won't fit into my new dress because we're going to have a baby. No. You think I kid about something like this? Well, I don't know. I mean, May, are you really pregnant? Uh, TC, <laughs> we're pregnant. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, was I too rough? No. Was I too rough? Oh. Spin me around all you want. It's still early. It's okay. <laughs> now tell me. Would you rather have a boy or a girl? Well, do I get a choice? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's funny, though. You know, with all my other pregnancies, I was certain if it was a boy or a girl. And this time, I'm not so sure. But, you know, I have a hunch. Well, oh, tell me. <laughs> well, how would you feel about having a, a new baby boy? <sighs> I'd like that. Yeah. I'd like that a lot. Son. Me a father again to a new son. I'm gonna I'm gonna teach it to I'm gonna teach it to play basketball. Yeah, of course. I'm gonna, I'm gonna names. We listen. Names. We gotta start thinking names. How about TC? Hi, Dr. Russell, Coach Russell. Um, did you see my ring? No. 
Oh, Teresa, it's, it's, it's lovely. <laughs> um, well, I was wondering, is Miguel still here? I know that he stayed the night last night. Yeah, he's upstairs with Charity. Okay. Um, I hope you will all be at our party tonight. Nothing bad is going to happen to anyone. And everything was okay last night, wasn't it? Only because you refused to leave her side, Miguel. Hey, what are you doing here, sis? Oh, we came to see you. Good deal. Hey, congratulations. You're a lucky guy. <laughs> Thanks, I know. I'm looking forward to getting to know Teresa's family much better. <laughs> Likewise. I think it is so wonderful that you guys are getting married. Congratulations. Oh, thank you, Charity. And we Thanks. want you both to help us celebrate tonight at the Cranes. We're going to have an engagement party at 8 o'clock. I don't know about that. Oh, I need you to be there, Miguel. I mean, we, we don't have Papa or Antonio. What about Luis? We, yeah, he'll be there, but I want you to be there, too. You know, I just don't think Charity's up for a big party right now. Please, you only have to stay a little while. Just long enough for me to take care of your girlfriend. So, what should we name him? Well, why don't we call him Earless? I forgot his ears. Snowmen don't have ears. What are you crazy? Of course they have ears. All snowmen have ears. Look, take it from a snow building architect. He's got to have ears. Yeah, just. That ought to work for the left. Oh, I think I have a better place to put it. Oh, okay, come on now. You know, I may not have built snowmen as a kid, but I was a champion snowball thrower. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> oh, so you want to play dirty, do you? Oh, give it your best shot, low pace, best year. Oh, you should have said that. <laughs> 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 Much as I loathe and despise the American tabloid press, one must weigh one negative against the other, bite the bullet, discard one's losses, and go with a lesser of two evils. Sheridan going to jail, or perhaps a mental institution, I'm sure I could arrange it, is far preferable to letting her relationship with Luis progress even one more day. You'd rather sacrifice your daughter, see her put away for life, than, than take a chance that Luis would get too close to her? You tell me, Julian. Who would you rather see locked up? You or your sister? Well, I, it doesn't have to. <laughs> Think, Julian. Luis, by profession, is a snoop. If he spends time around the estate, which he would as Sheridan's lover, it's only a matter of time before he comes up with the truth about his father. So, who's going to be living in the little six-by-eight room for the rest of their lives? You or your sister? Uh, that would be Sheridan, Father. So, you really want to know why I keep looking at you? Yeah, I think so. Well... It's the same reason I helped you with tennis practice yesterday. You make me feel good. And I want to hold on to that feeling. Make sure it doesn't slip away. Well, I really haven't done anything, you know? Not really. All right, well, it's, it's not just you. You know, it's your parents, too. Uh, your dad respects me, and even your mom's to stop eyeing me like I'm some kind of a bum, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad she's... Gonna help you find your birth parents. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't be something if she actually found them. Mm. It would be like everything in my life is finally coming together instead of falling apart like it always used to. Yeah. You used to be really angry a lot of the time. Well, Whitney, that's because I didn't know any other way to be. I mean, I'll admit it. You know, I came to this town with 12 bucks in my pocket and a big chip on my shoulder, you know. But since I've been here, a lot of good things have happened for me. Good things have happened for you, you know, and I really haven't done anything to help that. Oh, no, I wouldn't say that. I mean, even when you were giving me that ice princess routine, 
I'd catch you sneaking looks at me at the corner of your eye every now and again. No, I don't think oh, I did Oh, yes, that you at did. All. Come on, yes, you did. You know you did. But what I think you didn't know is that um, when you were looking at me, it, it gave me hope when I didn't think there was any. I mean, even when you were telling me to go to hell and don't ever come back and all of that, I never really thought that you meant it. Be honest with me, Winnie. Did you ever really want me to leave town for good? I can't do it, Teresa. Charity's just had a rough time lately, and I'd feel better if I just stayed close to her for right now. <laughs> Chivalry's supposed to be dead, dimwitch! Trust me on this, okay? Okay. We'll leave you guys alone. Right. Sit down again. Okay. <laughs> I feel so terrible. Just go. Maybe you should just go. Okay. Come on, honey. You're not gonna let the sight of Ethan Crane take away from our good news, are you? No way. No one can spoil my happiness now that I know we're gonna have a baby. <laughs> Do you really think it's gonna be a boy? Oh, well, I have a hunch. You'd really like to have another son, wouldn't you? Yeah, I guess I do. Maybe I didn't realize how much. Well, that was fast. You okay, Teresa? Miguel can't make it to the party. Well, TC and I will be there. That's great. You both will come, won't you? I'm sorry, Teresa, but we got other plans. It doesn't mean that we're not both very happy for you. Excuse me. Sorry, Teresa. The more distance I put between me and the crane house, the better for everybody. But <laughs> don't misunderstand me, Father. Naturally, I chose myself over Sheridan, but that doesn't mean that I won't see my sister rot away in some snake pit of a mental hospital. <laughs> don't worry, Julian. I know exactly why you picked yourself over your sister. You're a yellow-bellied sapsucker. I beg your pardon. Never mind that. What's important is that once Luis moves out of town or marries another woman, I'll see to it that your sister is released. And by then, hopefully, she'll have come to her senses about men and marry whomever I tell her to marry. <sighs> have you no feelings at all for your children? What good are those, Julian? Can you take them to the bank? Do they increase the value of your stock portfolio? I deal in facts, not feelings. The Crane Empire is a fact, one that must be maintained at all costs. We can't let anyone, including Sheridan or my grandson Ethan, gum up the works with their feelings. I couldn't agree with you more, Father. Elah's daughter will only distract Ethan from his raison d'etre, ruling the Crane Empire. As of tonight, there will be no more distractions for either Ethan or Sheridan. Sorry for them. Listen, enjoy while you can, kids, because after tonight, you will 
be having much fun anymore. We're not together. <laughs> Go! Go out there and help Miguel change his mind. He has got to leave Charity alone. Tonight! Go! I don't want to leave you alone. Um, I couldn't help but overhear Ethan and Teresa invite you to their engagement party tonight. There'll be other nights, there'll be other parties. Yeah, but Miguel, this one sounded really important to Teresa. I think you should go. Charity, don't you? Yeah, I think you should go, Miguel. I'll be just fine. mad at me, aren't you? No. Come on, you're disappointed because you're not going to be able to show off your new dress while you can. I'll live. Especially if you will give me a minute-by-minute -minute report tomorrow. I will call you first thing in the morning. <laughs> Boy, do I feel like a louse. I mean, here you go, giving me the best news that I could ever want. And I can't even be a sport for a couple of hours. You know, it's not the party, really. I just feel badly for Teresa. I mean, you know, I've known her since she was a baby, and are such a good friend. <laughs> I cannot say no to you, can I? <laughs> so you're saying? We'll go to the party. You're such a terrific husband. You'll see. Mm. Everything will be just perfect tonight. <laughs> it's the happiest night of my life and my own brother can't come tonight. I know, Teresa, but... You can't blame him for wanting to stay with Charity. I, I don't. I just want to share our happiness with the people we care about. And, and now the Bennets aren't coming. I'm afraid that's because of me. Sam thinks I'm a chip off the old block, and I mean, you know how much he hates my father. <laughs> 